Hey, everybody, and welcome to Explain America. I'm your host, Carmine Sabia, and we got a big story for you today about Bill Clinton and Jeffrey Epstein. But before we get started, please go ahead and hit the like button, hit the share button, leave a comment. And of course, if you're on YouTube or Rumble, please subscribe. It's very important to help a small channel like ours grow. You know, with the mainstream media pushing the liberal news all day long, with social media clamping down with their algorithms, it's really hard to for conservative news to make it out there. So we really need you guys' help to make this happen. So please, just do those little things, and it really helps out. So Ghislaine Maxwell, she was the right-hand woman for Jeffrey Epstein for many, many years. She helped bring young girls into that kind of harem that Epstein had going on. You know, she plied them. She, I mean, according to the trial, which she was convicted of, really manipulated these young women into being part of that, you know, cult of Epstein and, and really help with the trafficking of these people. Well, she spoke today, well, yesterday from prison, and she spoke to the Daily Mail, and she gave a very, very interesting interview. Now, in the interview, she mentioned that she was concerned that she might get killed in prison and that jails were very dangerous places. And, you know, whatever you think of Jeffrey Epstein, he did die in prison. Whatever you think happened there, he died in prison. So she's talking about jails are inherently dangerous places. And then she goes on to talk about her special friendships with, with various famous people, among them Prince Andrew of England. And then she mentions former President Bill Clinton. And it's something the media does not talk about a lot. But she called the friendship with former President Clinton a very special friendship. And she said it went on for years. It went on for a long time and that they had a lot of things in common that they talked about with each other. And I found that very interesting as well because I'm wondering what they had in common. But what I think the, the, bigger, the bigger issue here is because nobody's accusing anybody of anything. The bigger issue here is how this is not covered immensely by the media wasn't covered in 2016. It's not mentioned a lot. But when you look at when you look at what, what happened with, with President Trump and how they mentioned any affiliation he had with anybody that was not, you know, above board. I mean, they acted like Michael Cohen, who is not a great guy, was this like evil monster. They they talk about Rudy Giuliani like an evil monster, but Clinton had a friendship, a quote, very special friendship with Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. That went on for years. And apparently nobody has any questions about that. The media doesn't want to talk about it. It's not really an interesting topic for them. And I find that the biggest kind of puzzling thing about the whole thing. If you're in the media, your job is to uncover stories. This seems like a very big story. So that's from her own mouth, that they were very good friends. And she said that she kind of feels sorry for people like him that have gotten canceled, that have gotten dragged into this. but. He chose to be friends with him. He chose to be friends with Ghislaine Maxwell. So, and very special friends, apparently. So I don't think that, it doesn't mean he's guilty of anything, but it deserves the same scrutiny as a Republican would get in a similar situation. Hey folks, thank you for joining us here today at Explain America. Again, I am your host, Carmine Sabia. I hope you had a good time with us. I love reading you guys' comments, you know, whether it's, you know, positive or neutral or even negative. I do love reading them, and, you know, a lot of them make me smile, so I appreciate that. Keep those comments coming, and, of course, please like and share, and if you're on YouTube or Rumble, hit that subscribe button. God bless you. Thank you. Take care, everybody.